Prince shows the pace should be honored for raising the grace. Professor Dr. K. N. Seed represents a rare mix of experience in government, corporate sector, consulting, and academics. He joined as a director of Gitanjali Institute of Technical Studies on 21st October 2016. Prior to joining GITS, he was director of Adani Institute of Infrastructure Engineering, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Dr. Said possesses a rich experience spanning over three decades in diverse fields, which covers construction of industrial buildings and hotel projects, and designing and executing water network as executive engineer in government of Gujarat. He has worked as Deputy General Manager in Reliance Industries, Jamnagar, General Manager, Aarti Pipes, Vadodra, and Chief Executive Manager of Green Environment Services, Watwa Andabad. As the Chief Executive Officer of Green Environment Services, he had constructed and commissioned the Asia's largest common effluent treatment plant and a project for hazardous waste management for the industrial unit of GITC, Watwa Andabad. In academics, he had held various positions including principal, director of various constituents college of Gujarat University and Gujarat Technical University for over 15 years. He has worked as an dean interdisciplinary research in Gujarat Technological University for five years. Dr. Seth is Master in Engineering, First Class, First Class Gold Medalist, Master of Business Administration and Master of Law. He is PhD in Engineering, PhD in Law, and PhD in Management is an advanced stage of completion. Dr. Seth has, to his credit, over 105 research papers in the peer-reviewed national and international journals and conferences. Dr. Seth has guided 71 theses, and currently he is guiding four doctoral students. He has been reviewer, editorial board member, and technical session chair for many national and international conferences and journals. Now I request most respectfully Dr. K. N. Seed, sir, to welcome the guest with this candy cluster of words and set the platform for today's seminar. Esteemed Sri Jagat Shah, Honorable Chartered Accountant Sri Durgesh Pandey, Respected Chartered Accountant Dr. Mavi Chapdot sir, Dear Mr. Babula Jangir sir, Financial Controller of Itanjali Group, Distinguished, Most Learned, Very Cooperative Staff Members of Itanjali, Loving Student Friends, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Suswagatam. Bad muddas se ye gadi aayi. Bad muddas se ye gadi aayi. Sir, aap sab aaye to zindagi aayi. Since Jagat Shah and Durgesh have come from Gujarat, Dr. Mavi sir, I may kindly be permitted to welcome in Gujarati stanza written by me. It says, Tamara Sone Nihari, Tamara Sone Nihari, Ya Swasone Mari Rahat Che, Sajaj Kauju Dilni Vat, Tamara Mate Khub Lagri Ne Chahat Che. Ane Aap Sonu, Ane Aap Sonu Gita Jini Ma Bhao Binu Swagat Che. It is my privilege, and a great pleasure to extend you all a very warm welcome this morning on behalf of Gitajali Institute of Technical Studies and to say how grateful we are to the esteemed Jagat Shah, Honorable Dr. Mahavir Chapter Sir and respected Durgesh Pandey Sir who have accepted our invitation to convene this national seminar on demonetization, impacts and challenges. It is an opportune time to delineate with the words the gratification of this distinguished 
dignitaries who are here to share their views and interact with us on demonetization, the greatest step taken by our Prime Minister on 8th November midnight. I wish to welcome first of all Jagat Shah. He is my friend. I am very proud to tell you this. He is MBA International Trade and Gold Medalist of Delhi University. He is a certified United Nations Industrial Development Organization that is called as UNIDO, UNIDO, Cluster Development Practitioner. I wish to welcome Jagat Shah and I want to tell you what is this UNIDO. Uh, basically, UNIDO is the specialized agency of the United Nations that promotes the industrial uh, development for the poverty reduction inclusive of the globalization and environmental sustainability. The goals of the UNIDO are building the resilient infrastructure, promoting the inclusive and sustainable industrialization and fostering the innovation. Jagat Shah has achieved all these goals in his life. I know him since last six years. He has always, always been kind to accept my request of adorning the dais and enlightening the students of Gujarat Technological University with his knowledge where I was working there as a dean for more than five years. This time he has come for our Gitanjali students. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, though detailed introduction will be given by the compare, by the anchor, let me tell you that my friend Jagat has been involved giving report to Prime Minister office on Make in India, Skill India, Smart India, Digital India, and Startup India through the mentor on the road project covering 35 cities in 22 states. Jagat slogan is Desh Pratham, Desh Pratham, Vande Bharat. In all his messages, you will find written Jagat, Desh Pratham. Vande Matra. What I must tell you is he has been guiding the investors in the industrial park, special economic zone that is called as SEZ and technology parks. Adani Group where I was work working as director operations, actually Adani Group has taken uh, almost all the benefits of the special economic zone at Mudra Kach Gujarat. If I tell you something about uh, his personal life, Jagat's personal life, I would tell you that he has <coughs> endowed his life for the downtrodden people, for the orphanage, and his wife also always uh, is with him for all this job. His life actually itself is a message. <laughs> किसी का दिल किसी का दर्द बिक सके तो ले उधार ऐसा उनका है ये कहते हैं ना रिश्ता दिल से दिल के एतबार का जिंदा है हम इसे नाम प्यार का के मर के भी के मर के भी किसी को याद आएंगे किसी के आंसुओं में मुस्कुराएंगे कहेगा फूल हर कली से बार बार जीना इसी का नाम है जगत शाह is indeed a great person I have seen many persons in my life but जगत is absolutely different a person who has worked on international market and investment strategy with 22 countries in last 28 years is before us. The great Jagat Shah, please welcome him with big round of applause. Well, I also wish to welcome Chartered Accountant Dr. Mahir Chaplow, sir, Managing Partner of Chartered Accountant. From the Om Prakash S. Chaplot and Company, he is also a general secretary of certified accountant 
डिवीजन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ जूरिस्ट फॉर योर इंफॉर्मेशन द रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ जूरिस्ट इज एट लंडन यूके द इंटरनेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ द जूरिस्ट इज अ बॉडी ऑफ जूरिस्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कंट्रीज वर्किंग टूगेदर टू एस्टाब्लिश जस्टिस एंड इक्वालिटी अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड द काउंसिल एज इंटरनेशनल कोर्स एंड सेंटर्स वर्ल्ड वाइड the council also provides legal aid to the downtrodden people sir i was also practicing lawyer in gujarat high court for some time uh, let us express our feelings of regards to dr mavi sir by big round of applause <laughs> sir i welcome you from bottom of my heart to gitanjali institute next i take an opportunity to welcome chartered accountant mr durgesh pandey Who is a who is a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountant of India and the founder of his company DKMS and Associate based at Ahmedabad. Durgesh at, attained his CA when he was 23. <laughs> he is also a certified fraud examiner, fraud F R A U D, fraud examiner from A C F E. there is association of certified fraud examiner austin texas usa this is the world's largest uh, anti fraud organization giving uh, training and education in anti fraud subjects i must tell you that besides his practice as chartered accountant he conducted many forensic audits and fraud examinations for corporate clients and he is also a trainer to the police I, I would say home department of the government of Gujarat on forensic examination of the financial frauds. I feel proud uh, to apprise you that Durgesh Pandey sir is doing PhD under me from Gujarat Technological University on forensic analysis on financial frauds. Please give a big round of applause. to this young career accountant well uh, coming to the most important uh, part of the session is do all of us have been discussing this issue of demonetization the impacts and challenges on demonetization are not really easy to predict and courts have already defined the term demonetization but the anchor is coming from his my mba student he has defined that demonetization means stripping of the currency as legal tender the currency no stripped cannot be recognized by law as official medium of payment to extinguish the debt maybe public or private debt but demonetization is not new it's not new In January 1954, bank notes of 100 and 1,000 rupees were withdrawn, and new notes of 100, 500, and 1,000 rupees were introduced in India. On 16 January 1978, well, you were not born those days, uh, but Janata Party coalition government they demonetized bank notes of 100, 500, and 1,000 rupees as a means of curbing counterfeit money. and the black money in 2002 european monetary union adopted euro and at that time also the first exchange rate was uh, decided and when euro was introduced the old uh, national currency was slowly and gradually demonetized in 2015 zimbabwe government demonetized dollars to combat the hyperinflation that was extremely high it was Uh, 231,000 percent. Now let's take case of India, for which we all have gathered here. See, if you remember, it was uh, November 2008 when there was Mumbai attack. If you know, 26/11 attacks. If you remember, the National Investigation Agency caught David Headley. Probably he was the leader of the master plan of the Mumbai attack. he was found with indian fake currency that was uh, it was it was stated by pakistan uh, inter service intelligence 
not by us. The fake Indian notes were mainly used for terror related activities. The money mainly was coming from, it was getting entry from Nepal, Pakistan and Bangladesh. The terrorists wanted to cripple the Indian economy and to create the economic terror. And surprisingly in 2012, while responding a question to the, in the parliament, our earlier finance minister P. Chidambaram admitted, P. Chidambaram sir admitted that yes, there is a counterfeit currency notes in the Indian economy in circulation. And minister could not answer, he could not confirm the estimated amount of the fake money that is in circulation. But he agreed that currency notes are in circulation. In the year 2012, are you all with me? Yes. In the year 2012, our finance minister also admitted that the fake notes are there. We knew that they are coming from this, this places. But still, no concrete steps were taken. I would say, uh, uh, there was one, that is F call, that is called as our Ministry of Home Affairs in 2012, constituted fake Indian currency note coordination centre. But there was no concrete outcome. The government has all, uh, what is the concrete outcome there? That was the question before us. And the answer is given by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and that is demonetization. That is the goal. That was the goal. And that goal has been achieved. Uh, well, uh, the government has very clearly said that this action would curtail the use of illicit and the counterfeit cash which is used uh, for the legal activity, uh, for the illegal activities and terrorists by our enemies. Please recall, if you recall the 8th November after midnight, the, the, the address which was given by Prime Minister and it was followed by Urjit Patel, uh, our Governor of uh, Reserve Bank of India. He has said, even uh, Shakti, Shakti Kanta Das, Economic Affairs Secretary also has stated, in the press conference they made the statement that the purpose of the action was to fight the terrorism funded by counterfeit notes. While the supply of the notes of, the, uh, of all, the denomination had, uh, had increased by 40 percent. Between 2011 to 2016, that means 40 percent fake notes were in circulation. But uh, rupees 500 and rupees 1000 notes were 76 percent as well as uh, and 109 percent respectively. That means 1000 rupee note that was in circulation, fake note, that was 109 percent. Very high. And that, and, uh, that was definitely by forgery. So we had no option but to go for demonetization that the action that has been taken by Prime Minister, actually I really, I feel that is what They say that the forged cash which was used uh, to fund the terrorist activities against India and that the demonetization has had a counter-terrorism purpose. That is absolutely right. So what is, uh, well, uh, uh, there are positive as well as uh, negative impact of the demonetization. I would, uh, I would not like to speak further because the experts are here. Uh, but I would definitely say one thing. What is required is ki nazar ko badlo, to nazare badal jayenge. It is very important. See, badlao lana bahut zaruri hota hai. Aur badlao lane ke liye hume bhi kuch karna padta hai. We have tolerated many difficulties on account of demonetization. But most of the people in India have been saying that whatever step Narendra Modi has taken is right. So, this badlao is very important. नजर को बदलो नजारे बदल जाएंगे सोच को बदलो तो सितारे बदल जाएंगे कस्तियों को बदलने की जरूरत नहीं है कस्तियों को बदलने की जरूरत नहीं है दिशा को बदलो तो किनारे बदल जाएंगे सो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस बिगी एंड हियर द क्यूमुलेटिव इंपैक्ट्स एंड चैलेंजेस फ्रॉम द एक्सपर्ट्स हु हैव एक्सेप्टेड आवर रिक्वेस्ट ग्रेसफुली once again, lot of thanks to this uh, great speaker, Jagasya, Chartered Accountant Dr. Mahavir Chaplot and Chartered Accountant Durgesh Pandey. It should be pointed out uh, that this seminar 
was hit not only on recommendation from me, but also on recommendation from our beloved and enthusiastic uh, training and placement officer of Gitanjali, Arvin Premavar. Please put your hands together for our Arvin Premavar CEO. I wish to take opportunity to welcome all the participants, my learned, sincere and dedicated uh, faculty members, my students of MBA, MCA, BTEC, most of the participants are bona fide students of our college, sir. Uh, let us give a big, very big round of applause to our participants, that is the faculty members and students. And in conclusion, I wish you a very su every success for this seminar and a place and stay of all these dignitaries with us. Thanks for your concentration. Your speech really moved us, sir. Thank you for sharing your valuable experience with us. Today, 